नमस्कार रसोई के रहस्य के फेस्टिवल्स ऑफ इंडिया में आपका एक बार फिर से हार्दिक स्वागत है त्योहार मनाना एक बहुत ही खुशी की चीज है क्योंकि देर सो मच दैट हैपन्स देर देर सो मच जॉय देर सो मच फूड देर सो मच ट्रेडिशन दैट इज अटैच टू एवरी फेस्टिवल आज हम जिस त्योहार को मनाने जा रहे हैं दैट इज सेलिब्रेटेड बाय द हिंदूज इन द सदर्न स्टेट ऑफ केरला ये है विश्व Vishu is celebrated as the New Year, and it's a beautiful festival because I've heard bits and pieces from it uh, about it from my guest who's here with me today, and she'll tell you more about it. So let me tell you something about her. Her name is Sangeeta Nambiar, and she's a very dear friend who I know for many, many. Yes, I've been part of many celebrations, and I've heard of many more from her. So I know that if there's someone who actually celebrates the festival the way it should be, it's her. So let's not waste any more time and bring over Sangeeta Nambiar. Hi, Sangee, welcome to Rasoi Kera Hasya. Hi, Payal, thank you for having me. It's been a long time coming, and I'm so glad it's time for Vishu. Yes, that's part of one and a half festivals that we celebrate in Kerala. So we really get in. to it because you know we just have so many festivals <laughs> isn't it it needs to be done also i mean come on otherwise how does one really ever know what it's all about that's true. keeping some cultures alive i think is always enriching and especially for the kids you know because most of us at least most of the malayalis i know have moved out of kerala these are little things that we do so that you know we still have our roots and uh, the kids know and we also like enjoy ourselves during these times so it's just a fun thing that you know that it's nice keeping alive it, it roots you absolutely so, and also it's also very important because it brings back memories of the times that i think i will never come back and it takes you everything you do always takes you back and attaches itself to some memory associated with it and with the family so i know you have many of those and uh, you know being a writer you have written about it as well and i have read about it as well and i'd like you to begin with telling us more about this so i'll leave it to you now yeah so this show has always been about family for me but uh, some of my most early memories of my family when my mom was alive and you know we were all together as a family have been of vishu mm-hmm. you know there's you begin vishu morning with you know the lady of the house waking you up like your mom waking you up and they blindfold you or you know she covers her hands on your eyes and mm-hmm. uh, takes you to the little puja she's set up i'll tell you a little bit about the puja in a bit Mm-hmm. Uh, she takes you down and then you know she puts a little bit of water on your eyes and you open your eyes to this side it's called vishu kani that mm-hmm. kani literally means uh, the first thing that you see so okay. since it's our new year it's considered auspicious to see abundance yeah you no know? so so there will normally be all the you know food that we like to eat fruits vegetables and there'll be navadhanyangal that is nine uh, grains Mm. that are there everything that you need for a prosperity and happiness you know a full life mm. like there'll be gold and the new clothes there'll be silk there'll be you know jewelry there'll be uh, all kinds of things which all aspects of life you know you see yeah. and then there'll be the lamps lit and so when you see it it's, it's like one of the most beautiful sights and it's always every vishu i remember that sight you know i yeah. remember the visual of that and every onam it just gets more and more beautiful and i'm sure even my children have these memories with that you no know, yeah. of this you know this splendid kind of uh, just you know lamps there's no light at all it's a dawn that you're you know just before the crack of dawn Mm. all these lamps are lit and that's what you see you know you're half asleep and then you wake up and you <laughs> see all this uh, it's it's a very like a very and uh, the whole idea is that whatever you see first mm. is what you get a lot of in life yes. so in for the whole of the coming year right. so that's how you begin and uh, so for me that first memory i remember my first memory i was too small when i was in chennai mm. uh, but i think in calcutta that's the memory that i have 
of our house and that this is like ancient okay like almost 40 years ago <laughs> but i still remember that that you know that vishu so uh, vishu has always been about family it's always you know togetherness and uh, there are a lot of other rituals that happen during the day rituals as in uh, a family ritual like you go meeting people and you know mm. there is one thing it's almost like the current johar film with a whole bunch of things you know there is kani there is kodi which is new clothes and there is uh, kaimitam which is uh, you know the elders give the younger ones money yes so you uh, you go visiting uncles and aunts and you know they'll give you money and that way so i was fortunate uh, to have spent couple of uh, wishes in kerala in a family house and uh, there like you make a killing you know because there are so many relatives in your house <laughs> so many <laughs> houses <laughs> you like end up making a lot of money and also like uh, it was at this family uh, house which has uh, uh, you know a very beautiful puja room so mm. th- there are like uh, so many almost 50 lights that you see at the oh, same beautiful. time it's really a beautiful beautiful mm. sight in the morning so uh, that and the whole thing of community you know so it these is. are things that i remember for me wish you wish you is that you know, it's community and it's wishes and it's all everything that a festival is supposed to be for others that's what wish you is for me but it's also an auspicious beginning because yes. it's it can yeah. like that I mean, I think of it right now. The picture that you've painted, I can see something really bright and beautiful, very colorful, very you know, varied in textures, varied in uh, appearance, and things like that. But it's all there. It's all a beautiful yes. tapestry yes. of yes. textures and color and light is what I can see as I hear you speak of it. But uh, like many other New Year festivals, does this also have anything to do with harvest at all? No. I mean, it would have uh, something to do with harvest because you're keeping all the produce in front of uh, the gods. But I don't think it really is a harvest festival because yeah. that's owner. Hmm, hmm, so uh, Vishu is more uh, an astronomical beginning. I mean, it's the beginning of the astronomical year. It's the calendar year, so to speak. In the yeah, the yeah. Gregorian calendar, it falls in April. I think that's how it happens. Yeah, the first day. And uh, Lord Vishnu is the god of time. So right. uh, he is he and his uh, avatar Krishna mm-hmm. are uh, worshipped on this day, mm-hmm. and um, uh, so I think that's I mean there are various reasons uh, there are various uh, opinions on why and how and you know all of that for us yes. it's just a bit I mean I've always been told that it is a, a New Year, but there are some who worship it as a Krishna festival because uh, that was the day that. Krishna had beaten the Lord. Uh, I mean, the demon Narakasura. Oh. So then are all these theories also? Yeah, mythology. But, uh, but then mythology yeah, in yeah. any case, it just yeah, which all must be true in some way. I yes. mean, if, if I don't know enough of uh, uh, you know the Vedas and the <laughs> mythology to actually say you know this is it. What I've heard and learned is that it's our New Year, and Vishukani is kind of a beginning of that. And there's another interesting thing uh, that happens during Vishu, which is uh, uh, a very integral part of all the decorations. You know, there mm. is this bright yellow flower mm. called the Konnapu. That's another K. Okay. So that uh, Konnapu is uh, normally put over there. So those who are lucky to have a Konnapu in their house will get bunches of it. We used to have a Konnapu near our house in mm. Lucknow, actually, mm. of all places, and. Uh, uh, We used to have fresh flowers. Now it is like cost some hundred bucks for you know two spoons or something. <laughs> What do they so, call something shower? Something shower. I trying to remember somebody the other day was talking to me about it and telling me what the flowers were called in English. Yeah, I, I think some cactus filati or something like that. Yeah, it's a whole uh, bunch of flowers. Think, it's very very. Yeah, pitchy. it's that tree uh, sheds all its leaves and there are just these bunches of flowers. Oh, you see them all along the route to Mysore and towards Kerala. You know, mm-hmm. there is a route where you'll see konnapu flowering. They normally flower now and through May, so you'll always find them now. Yeah, oh. that's it. And the people were telling me now, especially those that live in the West and still celebrate. I remember somebody telling me that uh, if we can manage these flowers, it's it's like a, a bonanza and it's a bonus. But yeah, if we can't, correct. then we make do with uh, tulips or yellow roses or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Yellow, yellow is flower. The, is, yeah, it reminds me of Maa Basanti. 
राइस and yeah. then you put you embed the uh, mirror into the rice and ah. you put a, a gold necklace or you know something like that on it and mm. then when you sit down and you open your eyes you see your own reflection in the mirror with the gold and the you know all the bounty that's around so wow. uh, it said to be auspicious for you you know you yeah. live through the whole year with all of this bounty and it's uh, also a way to kind of ground you because you're not looking your best morning <laughs> you're going to start like you know a self awareness check i think a heavenly self awareness check it's a it's a style at the beginning check. yes at the beginning like you know you can take all the selfies you want but this is your you know the truth of you and yes, you have to god like you know this is you and so if you woke up a little earlier you could have looked better and you know this bounty could be yours in any case with and all of it on you <laughs> yeah so this is a kind of a you know check that we uh, malayalis have <laughs> in place to just ground us like you know yes. yeah Maybe but also day, also at different. all times telling you giving you the hope and you know the jhasa of the abundance that is around you in any case yeah yeah yes Like pray hard and all this could be yours. You know? so that's, that's the underlying message of Vishnu. Yes. Yeah, so you you just basically be good and do all that you're supposed to do, and you know the year that's looking ahead is going to be full of this. But it's so simple and it's yet so beautiful. I mean, little things that uh, yeah, the entire entire. Uh, I mean, if you look at the Vishnu Kani, it seems hmm. like such a laborious process. You know, hmm. like oh my God, you got to get this, you got to get that, and you're know, nine. Grades. Actually, it's all things you have in the house. Absolutely, you know, it's all like you have the grains in the house. You have the dals and the you know the chawal and the atta and the whatever you're using. It's basically mm. produce that you have, you know. And there'll be jackfruit at the you know they slice the jackfruit in Kerala. Jackfruits are in abundance, so I guess you know it was. And everybody house has something growing. In every any house case. will have, yeah, and uh, little mangoes and everything. You know, it's just produce that you will be later on using in your satya. Yeah. So it's all basically it's it's a very simple. I mean, Malayalis on the whole are. Mm. I mean, if you look at the traditions, they're very simple. It's like a Nair wedding. It's over. Like if you reach there, you know, five minutes late, you probably miss it. Really, I know. Yeah, it's, it's really it's yeah, it's very quick. It's like an anticlimax. Like what the hell happened? It just finished this wedding. But uh, that's how it is here also. It's just like step by step, you just do this. But it's so beautiful in its simplicity yeah. that uh, you don't need you know you don't need these elaborate pandals and you know nothing like that. It's in your house. and it's just the just the point of sitting there and having that moment with yourself and a loved one you know it's normally the little children are brought out last you know so the parents and then mm-hmm. the husband and then the you know the children from biggest to smallest would be got so it's a very bonding kind of yes. sweet time you know yeah it's so so sweet it seems like yeah. thinking i'm yeah. thinking of the little ones being brought in me to sit up there and Yeah, you know, look at the yeah. whole thing and things like that, and looking boggle-eyed, fully wide-eyed at all the resplendence around them. Yes, yes. I remember when Rehan, my younger one, was uh, a little, like two years old or something. He insisted on the dogs also coming and seeing the kani. <laughs> so we had taken our, you know, little puppies also down to see the kani. It's a nice start. 
no? to, to the already. morning. And then through the day, then what happens? Once you've done the Vishukadi is over and then what happens? Then you start your preparation for the Sadhya. I mean, after a quick breakfast. I mean, in our house, breakfast is n- not as big a deal. But in Kerala, it would be. I mean, when you have a lot of people and you have, you know, a lot of help and everything. So, there'll be something special like a puttu or a, you know, appam and stew or something. Something mm-hmm. yummy will be made. And then you start your, I mean, there's a lot of work for the sadhya itself. Mm. So, then you start your sadhya and then... Your sadhya, please break the sadhya down. I know that I'm only dreaming of a sadhya. My sadhya is still due at your place, uh, Wish you yes. God knows when and how, but it will soon happen. It's almost like coming to watch your play. So it's, yeah. it's pretty, pretty much All that's the same agenda, maybe, but in any case. But I know I've, I've often, uh, you know, walked you through your satya. I mean, when you've been slogging, I've been listening to you slog. But so please break this down for our listeners to actually know yeah. what this is. All. Satya is another thing, which are all dishes that we make through the year. Like we don't make it all together, but at some point or the other, it's it's not like making something that you make only once a year or right. something like that. Mm-hmm. It's all like regular food that we make on a daily basis, mm-hmm. but uh, we kind of up the ante and make, make it all together on the day. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, there are almost 28 things that will be there on the planting leaf. Gosh. You know? Like they're all, there's a certain arrangement and, you know, there's a certain position for each thing that you make. So, not everybody makes all, you know, 28 odd. I, of course, 28 is counting the chips and counting the, you yes, know. Yes, everything, everything begins small. Everything, yeah, everything yeah, begins yeah. small. Yeah. Everything. But it's, uh, I do that. I mean, I make the whole rigmarole because I enjoy doing it. And my kids really have very little connect with Kerala ever since both uh, the grandparents are not there. Mm. Going there didn't seem like, a, you know, like a practical thing to do. So, I try to mimic it here we have a pretty robust community here in mm. bangalore like a lot of my cousins everybody my brothers here and mm. all of that so we do have a you know society out here to hobnob with on vishu and onam and everything but uh, so i i've always wanted them to know the real deal you know right. so going to kerala for these weddings and sadhya and all might not happen and the sadhyas are quite different there now mm. sometimes you don't even get uh, plantain leaves it's like uh you know, plastic uh, looking plant and leaf and all right. I mean, It's all been uh, commodified and you know, yes, everything yes. has become modern and quick and you know, all of that. So it's nice to have these traditions here and when you live in a place like Bangalore, mm. uh, there are these Malayali shops which will actually get you stuff from Kerala. Oh, nice. so they have, uh, yeah, they have the authentic chips and they'll have the authentic uh, you know, rice flakes that you use for uh, the paisan. Mm. You know, a lot of brands which you get only there, you'll get, you know, they'll get it for you here. And uh, of course, plantain leaves, fresh and beautiful and you know, mm. all of that. So you can really have a very authentic sadhya and authentic Kerala experience here. It's mm. just a bit of effort and uh, uh, it's fun also, you know. Just, and it's just twice a year, really, if you look at it. Yeah, it's two and absolutely. When we uh, do it. So, it basically has many dishes, but there are eight dishes which are kind of very traditionally there on the Sadhya meal. You know, okay. the, uh, one is Olan, which mm. is a kind of, uh, all, all are coconut based. So, I'm not even going to get into that. Either you use coconut milk or you use coconut ground or you just right. you know, sprinkle it on up. In some way or the other, coconuts are used. So, right. Olan is a coconut milk based dish. Hmm. It's a very light uh, kind of flavored dish and hmm. you use green chilies and uh, coconut milk and you know. And there is kutu curry which is a more of a robust kind of, it's got uh, kala chana hmm. and uh, various combinations but normally kala chana and uh, yam and hmm. there'll be a bit of raw banana. That's a traditional kind of combination hmm. that's there. Hmm. Then there is kalan. Kalan, it's a curd based curry. Right. And that's a, like kalan, the trick of kalan, like to know that it's a good kalan is uh, like you should get it silken, you know, like right. you grind the coconut right. really well and, yes. and you just uh, serve very little of it. It's right. not like, like a lot. 
and then of course avial which literally means mixture like a mixture of a lot of yeah a lot of uh, vegetables lot of kerala based vegetables and very homogeneously cut vegetables i might add yes 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 all have to be you know like yeah if you're being supervised by some aunt and all I, i've had you know very critical aunts who have like just discarded lots of my cutting because you know they were not correctly precisely oh, those goodness. many centimeters yes. yeah yeah so it's it's a big deal and everything is a big deal i mean this cutting of everything is a big deal or it it may be the same vegetable that you're using mm. but they're all cut differently and very specifically for each of these curries each right. of these dishes right so then there'll be a dry sabji which is called a toran or purtol it's a dry sabji with coconut it's basically bagar and the sabji right. will be kind of steam and uh, you put coconut on top mm. of it and then the usual sambar which mm. is main main curry and uh, there is another curry called elsheri which is uh, another coconut based coconut and jeera ground you know it's either pumpkin or uh, lentils and mm. you know, it's a mixture of that and then you begin the meal normally with a little bit of uh, dal it's called parippu which mm. literally means dal that's another where you it, it's a really tasty that, that's my favorite thing in the thing when you have it with ghee you begin with ghee and this parippu Okay. some people just boil the uh, dal with a little salt and uh, serve it like that at some weddings and all that's all you get but normally i mean the way we do it is you grind coconut garlic and mm. those little madras onion and green chili so you oh. grind that and put it into the boiled dal and oh, then yeah. you fry, yeah you fry small little uh, like onions cut really uh, finely mm. you fry that in coconut oil well mm. and put put that So that's like the beginning of your meal. That's almost like a yeah, like a I don't know. It's not a palate cleanser, but it's a beginner palate beginner. Right, right. It's, like, right. it's know, setting setting the note. It, it puts you in a good mood. Yeah. So that's there. Then there are pachuris, which are the like the salad portion. You know, like a reta, the in mm-hmm. Malayali version of reta. Mm-hmm. You have the pachuris. Then you mm-hmm. have the there are a lot of these um, pickle type things that you can make with you no. Know, mango pickle and yeah mango fresh pickle. the fresh and fresh yeah, mango fresh cut in that cut and yeah, all that yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, with uh, ginger we make this pulinji which is a kind of a sweet and sour and spicy kind of really yummy thing hmm. which keeps for a couple of days like you can okay. keep that and that that's another really yum thing the big uh, you know favorite of everybody hmm. so things like that you know it's and of course your paisans there'll be the white paisan there'll be the brown paisan the white paisans are milk based and the brown ones are with jaggery so jaggery and dal one is dal and one is uh, rice or something like that rice, isn't it yeah yeah you, yeah one is dal and one is rice the brown ones are normally with uh, the base is dal Mm. and uh, in the other ones like you can use rice or you can use vermicelli you can use uh, uh, there are rice flakes called ada which are like little flat flattened uh, rice flakes mm. so that's another popular thing that people make mm. so basically there are neyappam neyappam so deep fried you know little blobs of uh, rice flour and uh, coconut and um, uh, banana or uh, this uh, Like the, the big, like the appam only like the idi appam type yeah not idi appam they like unni appam they they like panyarams have you seen panyarams, panyarams? yes that was the word yeah, i was it, looking for panyarams yeah, yes it's yeah. like panyarams but these are not savory they are uh, sweet sweet yeah, yeah so yeah that's also normally kept with your kani you no know? vishu kani it's normally kept there so you'll get one in your palm after you've seen the like prasad it's not yeah. really prasad as such because no puja was done ha but, but whatever you're, you're sitting there so you have to get something yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so so that's basically the the sadhya but the eight uh, important things that uh, is that should be there in the sadhya mm-hmm. are olan kutukari salan avyan toran sambar parpu and elsheri these are right. the things that that they're the main dishes Right. Everything else right. is like an addition to that, but the, the, a sadhya would normally have these for sure. 
and they rice and uh, rice and things like that rice and yeah then there'll be rasam and there'll be uh, curd and there'll be you know there'll be a whole host of other things also right. but these are though i've also heard i mean not in our family but uh, i've also heard that there'll be non veg also in some houses i don't think the nayas but uh, other communities do have rice at least for uh, the onam sadhya they do have so it's really i mean i normally don't uh, go to anybody else's house Mm. Uh, for vishu because we ah, because you're hosting it you're home. doing it at home yeah, yourself yeah, and hosting it or if it's at my brother's house or my cousin's house it's all like within you know mm, relatives mm, so i mm. haven't really gone to somebody else's house to have but uh, apparently it, that's also a thing i mean non veg is also served in some house that and there are various festivals at various communities i mean like we have for, yeah, for instance yeah. things like the shera and stuff like that there are the likes of us who make it completely vegetarian and as do the bengalis and things like that but there are communities who actually have non veg on that day specifically yeah yes. so i Which suppose is, i mean it's just part yeah it's part of sadhya will be one fish fry also right. for our in house normally what happens is at night there'll be some non veg i mean if we are in a bigger family uh, mm. set up you know we have other guests and we have people staying over and thing then we do make something uh, non veg at night but during the afternoon the main sadhya uh, for lunch we normally have it like a, it's a vegetarian meal but it's not a hard and fast rule is what i've heard like uh, But no, most of it is things. like that, isn't it? Or like yeah. depends. It's a very, uh, it's a very individual thing. Whatever it is, it's, it it's is. more about yeah. what you want to sort of uh, have it signify. That's it. That's all there is about yeah. it. It's exactly. all about the significance exactly. of whatever it is to you. So that's yes. not. So that this goes on. I mean, basically, of course, then you slip into food coma completely. Yes, you slip into food <laughs> coma, and then you <laughs> you surface. to uh, just uh, repeat basically uh, uh, through the night day. and then yes through the day and if you're lucky like the next day or more <laughs> of that of the same but yes i mean sadhya and the food of sadhya is just enjoyed by everybody uh, yeah till it finishes and it's also i think that day i mean i've, I've had a common uh, conversation with everybody that i've spoken with uh, up to now with festivals and everyone believes that the food that they cook on a particular occasion especially a festival or something like that is the tastiest that they ever bake i mean in the sense that the same thing will be made another day but it won't have that no yeah one flavor it that it has on uh, the day of a festival Yeah, I think it's it's the whole you know everyone's in there's so many positive vibrations on yeah, the day yes. and uh, everyone's in such a spiritual mode you know uh, whether and you believe in happy. God or not it's all fully it's a happy. happy setup yeah it's a happy setup and you know you're you're doing it because uh, it's it's just fun thing to do you, know? you have your family around and they're waiting for this and. No, and no katoris also you have to use no <laughs> katoris <laughs> so many so many dishes and no katoris <laughs> no but for the pies some people would like katoris because not all of them have the dexterity to eat pies some of a you know plant in banana so leaf yeah. for those heathens for those heathens i keep katoris <laughs> But for the dals, no, nobody asks for katoris. <laughs> yes, you don't But have yes. the Punjabi in your house, and the Punjabi comes into your house. All oh, the eight dishes are going to be in katoris. Yeah. No, but I remember we in Kerala once had a foreigner come in. She was an exchange student, and she had come, mm. and she was the first person I saw eating the sadhya with a spoon. Oh. She was given a spoon to eat. From the plantain leaf, and she's really happy with her life. You know, she just couldn't manage. So she got her katori and she got her spoon and got everything. She insisted on eating on the plantain leaf, but she couldn't manage with her hand. Nothing was coming in her hand, so she had a spoon. So that I have seen in my lifetime, and of course, I'll see what you also eat with your katori. <laughs> the next time, I have that. Well, then I'm in my satya, my satya. I just set up like that. My plantain leaf will be primarily. For the for the rice and all the sides that come with it and all the dishes around it will be katori. I should probably make a trip to Arar Plantain Leaf or something and see how they you know manage their katori because they give katori in that 
Yes. So, yeah. So that's out of that. Uh, this is this is so much fun. It's so wonderful. So uh, this is pretty much how uh, the whole thing ends and the whole thing happens. So what out of this is a recipe that you would share with us? You said something you would be. Um, something that's really tasty and something that you like a lot as well. Yeah, actually, since it's summer, no, so I think a pineapple pachdi is a good dish that anybody can you know make, and is a little unusual from the usual raitas that even we make. Right. You no, know, it's a little normally. I mean, you you cut up tomato, onion, and uh, chili, and you know dunk it in some uh, curd with uh, salt and. Uh, You know, Kothmir you put on top is the mm. most basic kind of recipe. Right, that's yes. This is a little different. It's a, you cook the pineapple, so you kind of you want me to give the recipe. Yes, now? please. Just let's talk about the recipe. It sounds really interesting, yeah. and then you can give me the written version that I'll share okay. in the description. Okay. Okay. It's quite popular in our house. I've tried other pachdis also. I've like made uh, beetroot pachdi, and uh, there are other versions of it. You know, with carrot and things. Mm. But this pineapple, this kind of Sweet and tangy. Yes, mixed. and it's tart. Yes, it, it's a zing. It's it, yeah. It lends itself to like one of the bites in your sadhya. You know, like to right. have this taste. But everything else is so robust. You know. Yes. So this is a kind of it is nice and light in your mouth. So it's mm. got a nice feel and the. Uh, if you get some good pineapples, it's a really healthy thing also. So you cut about uh, some ripe. The pineapple has to be ripe. So you cut about two cups of it. You cube it. Mm. and uh, you cook it with uh, green chilies mm. uh, sliced mm. and uh, ginger again sliced long mm. with salt and about uh, a half a cup of water and uh, i mean it, it cooks pretty fast right. and then you uh, have to grind coconut mm. about half a coconut mm. with uh, red chilies to a good paste right and uh, this is uh, this also uses mustard seeds now in a unusual way you have to uh, powder the mustard seeds right and uh, you add the powdered mustard seeds to this coconut and uh, uh, red, red chili right yeah mm. you don't grind it together you mm. crush it separately mm. and then you add it to this uh, paste of coconut and red chilies right and then you mix the ground things with the cooked pineapple right and uh, you bring it to a boil just mm. one boil and mm. turn off the flame Mm. And add beaten curd. Oh! And then you just take it off the flame. You uh, after you take it off the flame, you add the beaten curd, and then uh, it's the bagar. Like you uh, heat oil in the pan, splutter the mustard seeds, mm. add red chilies and curry leaves, and just mm. dunk it into this, and that's your pachdi. So it's as simple as that, but it's very unusual. The taste. Yeah, the, the combinations are so. It has everything. I mean, it has pineapple, green chilies, ginger. Then it has the coconut mix, and it has a bagar yum. It sounds really yeah. interesting. Yeah, it's it's an uh, and I think the crushed uh, mustard seeds. We don't use the mustard seeds crushed like this for anything else. Yeah. It's just only in this pachdi that we use it like that. The crushed so, mustard seeds uh, is the Bengali. Is the is the Bengali dominion. Yeah, so maybe we had some, you know, Bengali <laughs> visit us, or maybe we visited them. <laughs> <laughs> somebody passing like, through, somebody passing yeah. through, who decided that this had to have the edge. Yeah. Oh, you're like, you're like, you're like fish, and you're like white clothes. So do we. Here's here's some crushed mustard seeds. <laughs> <laughs> to make it so, to make it happier and to make it zingier, but I, I'm trying to think of uh, how the flavor must be. It's really nice, and then so basically you turn it all off, and that's when you add the curd, right? Otherwise, the curd can cut off. Yes, yes, yes. So you uh, uh, boil the pineapple, add the uh, ground stuff, mm -hmm. and bring that to a boil. And right. When it boils, you turn it off and turn it. Off, I mean, take it off the flame mm -hmm. and add the beaten curd. You beat the curd, and then you add the beaten curd to it, and then put the bagar at the end. So, approximately, how much curd would you use? So, let's say to these two cups of pineapple that you've cubed pineapple, you've mentioned, how much curd Just would you use? About half, half, half a cup of curd. It's not a curd heavy thing. Right. A pineapple is still the star. Right. So the curd is just like it forms a little plate to the. Rest of the dish. Mm -hmm. It sort of brings it all together. All I think it will bring yeah, it all yeah. together. Yeah, it's just like you know, all over the. It should cover the ha, pineapple. Ha, right. That's yeah. it. Like it's not swimming in it or anything. Yum. So this you can't have two. Yeah. yeah. 
because it's in a company man so it yes. might if it's too runny it will run all over your ella like the banana leaf this is very very exciting this i mean, I i've never heard of this surprisingly i've heard of many other patties but this is one that i've never really heard of from yeah, i've i've actually uh, standardized on this i've tra- every time i've made another type of patti everyone asks me even even guess who i've had often for my sadhyas will ask me where is the pineapple patti so i've just standardized on this it's a nice it really lends itself to the sadhya no mm. to the rest mm. of it it's mm. a nice little you know sweet and sour take extra on little extra that is to give yeah. that the beetroot pachadi looks really nice it's the same uh, basically you can put whatever you want in it mm. some people put carrot and do the same thing some people put uh, um, beetroot and do the same thing i mean it's it's so it essentially it's, on, this is the base the the base will change in terms of the fruit or vegetable will change but the preparation remains the same yes yes some people don't add the mustard seeds they might add garlic instead even that works but some of this one just is a little it just hits the different. spot yeah yes yes it does it's like uh, it's like a nice little addition to the okay. meal you know it looks also pretty there so now this time this time uh, this time satya is getting ready it will be getting ready yes this time we are but it'll be a little uh, more low key because uh, my son has college and oh. he, he just make a quick in and out and uh, my elder boy is not at home he's oh. uh, he's actually the most malayali of all of us because he like all the malayali dishes and except for fish mm. and mango uh, which makes him a really odd malayali but except for fish and mango he loves everything that's made you know kerala style he he loves and he craves all of that he eats it so maybe he should life. start this tradition um out there now maybe he should start doing amma satya yeah he should <laughs> I am mean, considering he's he's such a such a dhasu cook himself, so he uh, might I'm just sure also. He, yeah, but these are all uh, quite com- intricate recipes. You know, you have to actually make them to know how uh, it's made. So yes. I'll need him with me for a few sessions before he can actually. And the ingredients also. I'm sure he's not going to get those ingredients very easily over there. So. that's perhaps also yeah but i think that uh, uh, indian stores just you know and there are a lot of uh, things you can substitute quite you know yeah. happily mm-hmm. those can also i mean uh, pineapple patti i don't even have any problem making because you get better pineapple there than yes yes, yes. Uh, he can in any case he can in any case yeah. do the satya with you online so <laughs> correct correct true true yeah. the rest of the rest of the things is all everything is just details simply nowadays and um i think i i shall come sometime uh, maybe next year yes, or maybe in the should. year for the onam satya yeah. and then i shall see what yes, this all yes you should actually you should plan for the onam satya yes. and help with the yes. you know flower decorations and i yeah, i, I, I get my boys to do it my um, all both my sons and uh, prapul Mm-hmm. um are like avid uh, flower arrangers so <laughs> while i make the sadhya i just come in like you know supervise they're the ones who really do it do make that's what makes it nicer thing. no that's what makes it so yeah. lovely when everybody's involved and everyone's so in and out of the thing i still remember yeah. i think you had put a video last time of the buzzing activity of your family getting ready for onam or something yes. like that so everyone's yes, all over put, the place i think uh, i put yeah and and all because honestly it's a lot of work you know yes it however is. much uh, and i always say this that some of the most hard working women are indian women during festivals and uh, it needn't be all on them you know and if the guys i mean if everything the uh, woman is doing in the kitchen the guy can do so mm. if everyone just helps you know then i'm sure if nobody helped me i might not even uh, be you know inclined to sit and do so much of it True. and just uh, you know it's a lot of work yeah, and sometimes you want to get it ready on time if you haven't had help so you know everybody listening if you're a guy like just help <laughs> festivals are everyone's festivals you no know, it's not just uh, you know the woman loves to absolutely, do it and she absolutely absolutely oh yes i think to 
yeah and it's the uh, other stuff you know like cleaning up and yes. you know, cutting these are these are all time consuming and many times i've i've seen this happen uh where the food is uh, made and everyone's eaten and everyone goes to sleep and the women of the house the women of the house don't get to sleep i mean they are like cleaning 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 no oh, it's a lot of cleaning it's time for the kitchen and out of the kitchen yeah. and everywhere this it's endless yeah. especially since yeah. there are so, family gatherings yes and um, many times i mean you know we might judge people who don't you know take the effort and say like oh my you know they're not doing but it is a lot of work yes and uh, if you don't have help uh, you know sometimes it's just too daunting a task to you know not take it so hats off to women who do it because you know it's a lot of work but equally hat tip to you know men who help i mean it's great that everybody gets together and everybody does that's the this. beauty yes yeah. that's that's the beauty really, yeah and that's really family you know when everyone like like how we were during lockdown you know everybody did a bit and that's how that we went through the lo- lockdown right So if one sat and said I'm not going to do anything nothing would get done but everybody did and it And that's I the whole thing the festival time. the idea of a festival is that in the truest mm-hmm. sense of the word is that that everyone gets together and does everything it's not one person mm-hmm. or two people's job it's about the family yeah. getting together it's about the community getting together if it's a community celebration it's about everyone doing yeah. things together it's never uh, you know yeah. singularly so one person luxury. Yeah, it should not be a drudgery for you know the women because then the whole spirit of you know the the occasion is lost when it's Absolutely. all yeah. dumped on one person. I mean, uh, but I think people are all you know pitching in and changing, and uh, that's the way it should be. I think that's the festival. Uh, that's the festival for everyone going forward. And I think uh, from our readers to all of you, um, a very very auspicious and happy wish you. And thank uh, you so much. I happy sadhya making and i'm only going to sit here and dream about all that's going on over there in your kitchen <laughs> and uh, yes. hope to be there sometime soon so thank you so much for joining us here on rasoi ke rahasya thank you so much for having me fire it was such fun all the memories right yes yes ma basanti phoolo phalo <laughs> and the katuris yes and the katuris and the katoris i will never forget the katoris i have an array now you know in case in case in case and i have a whole bunch of <laughs> this will be this will be ma basanti ma basanti signing off on the on the <laughs> yellow yellow vishu flowers yes oh yeah. you have a wonderful vishu okay thank you rasa ki rahasya ka ye bahut hi dilchasp aur khushnuma episode yahan tak hi अगले त्योहार की इंतजार कीजिए और सुनते रहिए रसोई के रहस्य तब तक के लिए नमस्कार